Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel, and um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here this morning. So yeah, just grab you something to drink. I'm drinking good old black coffee. Sit back and relax, and let's see what I'm up to today. I guess I could start off with a joke this morning. What did the hat say to the blanket? You stay right here. I'll go on ahead. <laughs> okay, um, I just wanted to start your day off with a little humor this morning. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys, as you can see in the photo here, what is off my hook this morning. Um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a little bit of diamond dots. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying that very, very much. Enough to where I have ordered um, another one. <laughs> so okay. Let's go ahead and see what I've been up to. Okay, guys. So, as you know, this is the blanket that I worked on. I started last March of 2021 when my grandbaby was born. And I set a goal to do, like, I think four squares three or four squares a month, something like that. And that was my goal. And then I would spend February assembling in it and putting the border on it. Well, um, when February came and I got it all laid out, I decided that it was a little bit too narrow. And so I went ahead and made a few more squares to add to the sides. And when I did, I had two squares left over as far as animals on them and I thought well I don't want the animals to go to waste so I made a pillow and so um, now there's a pillow to go with the blanket and um, for the back side it's just a uh, double crochet and I made it red because I was wanting it you know to stay in the vibrant colors oh there's a little panda down there but um so yeah, so I end up giving getting a pillow out of it, and this will go to him this Saturday. And I did buy a rocking horse. Let me show you the rocking horse. Okay, so here's the little rocking horse that I found. I found this at a flea market. Um, I go to a lot of vintage stores, antique flea market type things. I go to a, quite a few of those, especially um, in the spring and summer. Um, and... I just find cute things like this. And this one here. And then if you push the other one, I think it just keeps going. Like that. So you have to manually turn it off but yeah that's what I found and I'm going to give that along you know to go with that now I am going to go through my crochet books here and you know me I have to crochet some type of a little farm animal so I'm going to find something in these books for him because I just can't I just cannot not do that Okay, guys, this is what I'm working on right now. And, um, let's see. It's going to be this picture right there. I do have that one up there. But this is the one that I'm working on right here. Got a long ways to go. Because, as you'll see, let me move this back. This is all I've gotten done so far. But it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It's very, very relaxing. And I am using this light pad. It's back here. It's got three settings on it. And that really helps me to see um, all these symbols so much clearer. And um, there's all my little, what do you call them? I call them diamonds, but that's, I don't think that's what drills, maybe. I'm still learning this stuff, guys. But um, that's all the ones that go for this project. And this is my little bag that I keep all my stuff in. And there's 
stuff in there. Okay. This is a lot of fun. I haven't got to work on it as much as I would like because, you know, I've been doing so many crochet tutorials that I haven't had time, but um, the little bit of time I have worked on it, it has been fun. And I've actually ordered me a kit uh, from another company today. I ordered one's the nativity scene. So I'll let you guys see that when it gets here. Okay, guys, um, yes, this will be going uh, Saturday. He finally has his birthday party. We are taking him Thursday, uh, since it's my birthday and his birthday together, and my husband's is on the 11th and ours is on the 6th. We are taking him to Chuck E. Cheese and I spend the day out, and I guess I could include a, I did not do that. Let me include a picture of what I actually bought him the day that we all three celebrate together. It's just going to be us three, and I'm trying to start a tradition, since it's all three of our birthdays, where we take him like Chuck E. Cheese, plays Dave and Buster's, you know, things like that, um, to the movies or, you know, some theme parks or whatever, just to celebrate just us three. I'll take him to like Walmart or somewhere, let him pick out a toy, um, you know, whatever. Right now, he's too young to pick out his own toy, so I'll show you what, here's what I bought for him just for that day. And that gift will stay here. The horse that you saw is going to his home and, um, you know, at his birthday party. So, <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. And I should have a video out today. Hopefully it'll be today. If not today, it will be tomorrow of the Sips by Tea, the giveaway, three winners. Um, the tutorial for the rug will go out Thursday. Um, I'm just like, I think two rows left and then the tutorial is ready, but I didn't want to put out too many videos in one day. So I'm going to release it Thursday since I'll be out all day Thursday instead of getting up and, um, preparing a video for you guys. The tutorial will already be ready. I'll just schedule it probably for like seven, seven thirty in the morning or something like that on Thursday. Uh, that's central time. Okay, guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Replacing worry. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell Him every detail of your life, then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. That's Philippians 4, 6, and 7. God, overall, it is such an amazing privilege that I can pour out every detail of my life to you. I don't need to be steeped in worry about how things are going to work out in unknown situations. What a useless waste of energy. When I feel my mind picking up speed and starting to bounce in different directions, help me to take over and turn it to prayer. When I begin to feel the vines of worry creeping in, help me to slow down and intentionally offer those things to you in faith. I'm grateful for every new day to practice your presence and make you part of what I would normally try to do on my own. Worry only ev Worry only ever agitates. It never calms or offers solutions. Thank you that you work in peace, not chaos. I'm thankful for another day to watch you bring beauty out of ashes. What areas of worry can you offer to God in prayer today? That is definitely something to think about. Well, guys, that's all that I have. I told you this would be a short video. Just remember, guys, to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.